everybody. It's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. If you've ever thought you were going to win the lottery one day and take a trip of a lifetime, I've got one for you. It starts November the 11th, 2021. It's 122 days long. It's going to cost you $1.2 million. Let's get into it. Thanks, by the way, for subscribing to my channel, giving my videos thumbs ups. Thank you, everyone, for your support of this channel, heading to my Redbubble store and buying my t-shirts and coffee mugs. And thank you for supporting me by going to Sail Pack, picking up some cruise gear for your next cruise, some really cool accessories. You can even get a discount code down below in the description. And also, thank you to Ambrian Travel. Check out our group cruise on the Harmony of the Seas, December 6, 2000. 20 details just below all right you're going on a 122 day holiday it is a combination cruise jets and everything else it all starts in london england you're going to get on the a380 airplane from emirates you're going to fly first class to dubai this is the plane that has the shower on board. So, you know, you can always take a shower on board. Kind of nice. Once you get to Dubai, there'll be a private helicopter to whisk you and your guest away for a three-night stay at the Burj Al Arib Hotel. It's a two-bedroom suite when you get here with butler service and everything else. No traffic, you're gonna fly in, land on the helicopter pad, and enjoy yourself in this five-star, if not six-star hotel. You're gonna have a day um, to see a luxury desert safari. You're gonna go out, you're gonna spend the other time here, enjoy the private beach, get a massage, enjoy the spa. It's going to be lovely. Once you've uh, spent three days in this luxury, you're going to go back on your helicopter, back to the airport in Dubai, and you're going to catch a private jet, and you're going to work your way over to Hong Kong. Um, the uh, jet that you're going to be on uh, could be something like this right here, like a Gulfstream uh, 500, something like that. At 10000 bucks a day for this holiday, they're going to pamper you with the best. So the interior of your plane might look something like this and for the two of you plenty of room uh you can stretch out relax and enjoy yourself you're going to get to hong kong and when you land in hong kong you're going to stay at the ritz carlton for a four night stay you can enjoy a 180 degree panoramic view uh from the uh, hotel room that you're going to be at looking out over the harbor and the bay and the uh, the area of hong kong absolutely Fabulous. You can have a day of leisure all to yourself. You're going to get a private land to island tour. Uh, then you're going to uh, finish with uh, Hong Kong and you're going to catch up with your cruise ship. You're going to catch up with the Regent Seven Seas Explorer cruise ship and you're going to start a 32 ultra luxury vacation. And you're going to be staying in the uh, Regency Explorer Suite, the Regent Suite, which is 4,400 square feet. You're going to start uh, in Hong Kong, work your way through Saigon, Bangkok, Singapore, and you're going to end up in Sydney, Australia. In Sydney, Australia, after 32 days of cruising, you're going to be in a, a Park Hyatt Hotel for 13 nights, and uh, you're right beside the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The rooftop hotel, of course, has you have access to your pool, and jacuzzis, butler service, everything. You're there for 13 days. You have 12 hours every day of a chauffeur-driven limo to take you wherever you need to go. You're going to take a tour on the 27th of December to the Blue Mountain Tour. You're going to go to see the Blue Mountains on a private tour, beginning with a cable car journey across the Jameson Valley, where you can spot the Three Sisters Rock Formation. There it is right there. You're going to ride the world's steepest railway before stopping for lunch uh, at the top. Pretty darn nice uh, day there. Back to Sydney, and you're going to get ready for New Year's Eve. You might fly some of your family members down here to spend Christmas and New Year's with you, but on New Year's Eve, you're going to be watching the fireworks off the uh, bridge right there in the harbor, just like we see on TV every year. Once we leave here on the 2nd of January, we're going to take another private plane to Auckland, New Zealand. We're going to stay three nights at the Auckland Sofitel Viaduct Harbour Hotel. 
and we're going to have a day of leisure. We're going to take a private Waitomo Caves and Hobbiton tour. I'm trying to say it correctly. I don't know if I've said it right, but we're going to enjoy the uh, New Zealand attractions such as the Waitomo Caves and Hobbiton visiting the world-famous Glowworm Caves during a boat ride along the underground streams before heading to the Hobbiton movie set for an insight on how Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogies were made. So if you're into the Lord of the Rings, you're going to love this private exclusive tour. That's on January the 4th, 2022. Welcome to a whole new year. Now, once we finish with uh, uh, Auckland, we're leaving on the 5th of January, 2022, back on the Regent Explorer for a 30-night cruise back in that beautiful suite we just enjoyed, 4,500 square foot uh, suite, the Regent Suite, with our own personal butler, uh, our restocked bar every day. We're going to leave uh, Auckland. We're going to pr go all around New Zealand, back across Australia, and we're going to end up in Bali. And once we end up in Bali, guess what? We don't get off the ship. We stay on the ship and keep right on going for another 32-day cruise. And we're going to enjoy all of the amenities on the ship going from Bali to Jakarta to Singapore for a couple of nights, uh, to Bangkok, uh, back to uh, Sa Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City, we're going to be in Hanoi, we're going to be in Hong Kong, we're going to end up in Japan, where we end up in Tokyo. And in Tokyo, we're going to stay for five nights in the Amon Tokyo Hotel. This hotel is kind of famous. Uh, if you've ever seen the uh, Bill Murray movie, um, where he uh, falls for a younger gal. Uh, you might remember the name of that movie. A little bit of trivia for you. This hotel was shot. It was used for the movie scenes in that movie. You're also going to get a day where you're going to take a helicopter tour to Mount Fuji. This should be a fantastic tour. This is March the 11th, 2022. Going to Mount Fuji for the day in a, in a helicopter ride. Take your camera. Man, are you going to see some great stuff. Then we have a day of leisure on the 12th of March, and then it's all over. March the 13th, 2022, we're going to leave uh, Tokyo. We're going to leave Japan behind. We're going to get on a uh, Singapore Airlines uh, flight, and we're going to go first class all the way back to London. Uh, not a bad way to go, but unfortunately, it's over. Uh, $1.2 million is the cost of this entire adventure. 122 days. Works out to $5,000 a person per day. Uh, if you're not rich now and you become this rich overnight, it might take a bit of adjusting to kind of get used to this lifestyle. I, for one, would love to try it. Uh, see if I like it. Uh, can I handle these kinds of opulent surroundings on cruise ships and uh, first-class service on an airplane, I might. Uh, I'd, I'd be happy to give it a go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel today and uh, uh, catch me Monday night live, 8 o'clock um, Eastern Time. We talk cruise ships every week on Monday night and consider joining us on our group cruise on the Harmony of the Seas, December 2020. See you, everybody. Bye for now.